Welcome to Florence. Florence is the birthplace of the Renaissance, home to amazing art and architecture and food, which is one of the many reasons it's our absolute favorite. If you missed our last video, we're spending nine days exploring Italy, the final country of our six month sabbatical. And it's been awesome. We're three days in, and so far I surprised Allie with a romantic trip to Venice, where we took it slow, avoided tourists, and explored the colorful island of Burano. Then we enjoyed a delicious food tour in Bologna on our way to Florence, which is where our story begins today. Keep watching to see footage of Florence's dome, great food and drink, and later we take a really cool cooking class in the Tuscan Hills outside Florence. Before we head out for today, I need to show you this Airbnb that we're staying in because the views just keep on coming. We are out and about, our first day. Where are you? In my favorite city. <laughs> first full day in Florence, and our first stop is pizza. Because why not? You know, when in Rome, I mean, wait. Florence. <laughs> So unfortunately, pizza did not work out, and we're on kind of a schedule. We found this bomb sandwich place connected to a butcher shop. Look at that. Prosciutto, truffles, arugula. I love truffles. Okay, so if you've been following our travels very long at all, you know I am down for a stair climbing adventure, whether that's climbing a castle or a bell tower. Well, this tops them all, my friends. This is Florence's dome of the Duomo, and that's where we're going. It's raining, and we're waiting in line. Ready to get inside. The climb is on. So the view from the top is spectacular, but I actually think that my favorite part is in the upper level of the church. We are really close to the inside of the dome and you can see all the artwork. steps to go. So now we're actually like climbing up the curvature of the dome, almost to the top. Crazy part, our apartment's right there. So, we've been having a tremendous afternoon in Florence. Allie did a little shopping, bought some stuff, some leather items, a purse, and a jacket. That's a congratulations, she just got a job gift. Uh, but surprise number three for Allie is we're going to one of our all-time favorite restaurants here in Florence.
It's another beautiful day here in Florence, and we have more sites to check out. We got the Brunelleschi Pass, which gets us access to all of the different monuments here in Piazza del Duomo. And our first stop is Giotto's Bell Tower. Another climb. Another climb. A little sore today from yesterday's climb. You made it. Yay. <laughs> well, that's where we were yesterday. I almost like this view better, so you can see the dome. So if you're coming to Florence, make sure you don't just climb the dome, don't just go to Academia di Duomo Museum. Highly worth it. We didn't even really have to wait in line. I loved it. I can't believe we didn't do this the first time we came. It's awesome. It's really great. Nick said he hadn't had enough pizza yet, so we had to come get him some pizza. We're at Pizza Napoli, 1955, which is Neapolitan-style pizza in the heart of Florence. Go. It's good. The next day, we caught a train a few minutes outside Florence to enjoy one of the best Airbnb experiences we've ever done, a cooking class. The class took place in an old woodland house encircled by gardens and chickens overlooking a vineyard and olive grove. Our hosts were very hospitable and great teachers. It's no wonder they've got over 2,000 five-star reviews on Airbnb. We keep our pasta dough in a kind of bowl shape, don't keep it flat. Hand over the dough, we press and roll. Nice looking pasta yeah, there. Bits, warm we do like so. We fold it over like this. Try to match, uh, you see? Yeah. We use uh, the pointers, okay? With the pointers, we press here, like so. We're making tortelloni, and everyone is very, very concentrated. <laughs> Enjoying the fruits of our labor here in the Chianti Hills. Say hey to the gang. What's up? Hi. It was a tremendous experience. It was so good. The recipes were delicious. The people were amazing. We'll put a link in the description below for the class. Yep. It was so good. They taught us how to make fettuccine, tortellino, and tiramisu. And so good. Awesome. Great people. Great hosts, great experience. In the next and final episode of this series, it's the last day of our six-month sabbatical before we head home. 
We check into a five-star hotel with gorgeous views of the Ponte Vecchio Bridge. Then, I surprise Ali with a few more experiences, including pottery lessons from a Tuscan potter. And finally, we fly business class, thank you points and miles, from Italy to the USA, where we see our families for the first time in six months. Stay tuned. Nobody else was there to stop us.